All right, the last two minor gas laws kind of go together. They both deal with the effect that temperature has on either pressure or volume. Now we've already seen that pressure and volume are inversely proportional together to, to one another. So you've got to hold one of them constant in order to see the effect of temperature on just one of them. Right, so we're going to hold, uh, you know, one of the variables in the case of uh, the G, that is Gay-Lussac's law. Okay, and Gay-Lussac's law says that if you increase temperature, you will increase pressure, right? So T is proportional to pressure. Right? If I increase the temperature, that means the molecules are going to be moving faster, they're going to be running into the walls more often, and therefore, and also going to be hitting the walls with more force. And so, of course, that means that the pressure has to increase. Now, along with that, if you don't hold pressure, or sorry, if you don't hold volume constant, right? If, for instance, we deal with a balloon again, right? and I increase the temperature, well, the pressure will initially go up, but that will then push the container outward, right? So it'll push the walls of my balloon, the, the plastic of the balloon or the rubber of the balloon, it'll push it outward and therefore increase the volume in order to equalize the pressure, right? Equalize the pressure with outside air. All right, so this is called Charles's Law. Saying the law the whole time. So let's do this. So V is proportional to T. Right? So volume is proportional to temperature. That's Charles's law. So now you can see all four of them, right? Avogadro's law, Boyle's law, Charles's law, Gay Lussac's law. Now you have the A, B, C, and G's of uh, gases. Okay? We're going to go and show uh, Charles's law in action.